Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for CrI3 plus AgNO3. And this is chromium-3 iodide, and this is silver nitrate. So the first thing we need to do when we balance net ionic equations, we have to balance the molecular equation. This is our molecular equation. I can see there are three iodine atoms here and just one here. Let's put a three in front of the silver iodide. Now the iodines are balanced. We have three silvers. So we put a three here, fixes the silvers, but now we have three nitrates. That's okay because we have three nitrates over here. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Now we need to write the state for each substance. And that looks like this. So compounds with the iodide ion in general are soluble. Compounds with the nitrate, very soluble, both of these. But silver compounds, most of the time, they're insoluble. Silver nitrate is an exception to that. But AGI, silver iodide, that is insoluble. So this is going to be a precipitate. It's going to fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. And that'll give us the complete ionic equation. That looks like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. Note that the solid AGI, we do not split that apart. So in net ionic equations, we don't split the solids up. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. I see in the reactants here, I have that chromium-3 ion. Again, in the products, that's a spectator ion. You can cross that out. And then three nitrate ions here in the reactants and again in the products. Spectator ions, we cross those out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for CRI3 plus AgNO3. I'll clean it up, write the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation. But you note we have three in front of everything. So we can reduce that down to one, and we don't write the one by convention. So this is probably a more accurate representation of our net ionic equation. You note charge is conserved, we have a plus and a minus gives us a net charge of zero in the reactants. This is neutral, net charge of zero in the products. If you look at the atoms, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for CRI3 plus AgNO3, chromium-3 iodide plus silver nitrate. Thanks for watching.